Abaco Small Enough to Jail is the story of the only U.S. bank in the wake of the 2008 mortgage crisis that was criminally indicted for mortgage fraud. And usually when you tell people that much, their uh, reaction is, great, finally a bank was brought to justice because none of those big banks were brought to justice. But this was a small community bank in Chinatown, New York, which in many ways was the mere opposite of the big banks. They actually um, discovered the fraud themselves, reported it, investigated it, uh, stopped it, and yet the DA of New York decided that they were uh, engaged in high-level fraud and put them on trial. I heard about this story not through the normal means, which would have been like reading about it in the paper because this was a story that remarkably was not really reported on in the mainstream media. It didn't rise to the level of being a kind of sexy news story of massive fraud because it, it wasn't. None of the mortgages under indictment defaulted. <laughs> so it was hard to find the victim. The producer on the film, Mark Mitten, is a friend of mine and colleague. He was friends with the Sung family that founded the bank and ran the bank. And they told him that they were going through this incredible ordeal. And so Mark called me up and he said, there's this amazing story happening that nobody seems to be paying attention to in New York. And it seems to be a real sort of miscarriage of justice. What do you think? And so I went to New York with Mark and we filmed for a few days and I just decided, you know, this is an important story to tell, and, and the family is such a remarkable family, I, I wanted to tell their story as well. You know, it's a great honor to, to be a recipient of the director's spotlight here at Cleveland. I've been here several times over the years. The first time was with uh, the film Stevie, and I'll never forget this. I came to Cleveland and, you know, my screening was not only sold out in a pretty good sized theater, they had the theater next door open, so they showed it at the same time in that theater, and that theater was pretty full too. And then after the movie was over, we had a really great, long, rich Q&A with great questions. This is a film festival that shows a lot of films, but people turn out for the films, and, and not just for the narrative films, which sometimes happens at festivals that show both narrative and, and docs. Unlike festivals like Sundance, where they're spread out everywhere, and very difficult to navigate to go to films, this is a festival where you know, they make it very easy for you if you're a filmmaker or just a patron.